The epigenetic tests for as much as they are very, very accurate at predicting chronological age, they're not quite yet intervenable, or we know very little about how to intervene. There's a few studies now looking at different modalities of intervention and see, for example, we published the therapeutic plasma exchange paper mm. that we talked about mm -hmm. showing that there's a reduction of about three years of biological age, mm -hmm. and that is using epigenetics. If you're measuring before and after in the same individuals, you get better accuracy than if you're measuring in different individuals of the same age. On the other hand, there are other tests like inflammation mm. that you know how to intervene. Mm. We know how to target inflammation. Mm -hmm. And so those, to me, are more telling, are more important, mm. can guide you on how to, where, where to go. Inflammation yeah. is very much tied in with aging, right? If you reduce inflammation, uh, theoretically, maybe you can reduce... It is very clear, I think it's a consensus mm. in the scientific literature, that inflammation is at the center of aging hallmarks. It's one key predictor of most, if not all, of the diseases of aging. 